Welcome to episode two from the balcony. Today I'm reviewing the Binro Adventure Series 2 tripod. Let me first start by saying I purchased this tripod with my own money and I'm not being paid to do this review. <laughs> yeah, my, my channel is big enough for me to uh, be sponsored by somebody. Now with that out of the way, let's talk about how I've been getting on with this tripod for the last few months. When researching tripods, I had a pretty short list. It had to be tall enough to use without the center standing be extended. It had to have quick flip locks for the legs. It needed to be light enough to carry out in the field. It, it wasn't like ultra light, but I, I wanted something that was light enough uh, to be practical. Something lighter than my old Bogan tripod, which pretty much anything would fit that bill. I wanted a pan tail head that was Arca Swiss compatible. And I want it to be affordable. Now, I, I know I wasn't wanting a whole lot <laughs> in a tripod. And that list is what led me to the Binro Adventure 2 series. It seemed to check off a lot of the boxes that I really wanted in a tripod. So let's talk a little bit about the version that I settled on. I have the aluminum version. They also make a carbon fiber one. And I went, went, went with three sections, three leg, uh, leg sections. They also have a four section tripod. And I went with the three section because it's taller. And I, I like having less levers to have to deal with when deploying it, breaking it down, opening it up. To me, three section is, is, works, works well. They also have a uh, twisty type leg locks and I, I just prefer the flip type leg, leg locks just feel like they they work quicker because you can pop two at the same time you know just things little things that I'm just used to that that I I like so that's why I was kind of looking for in a tripod but they have they make quite a few versions of this something for really everybody The tripod comes with a pretty nice padded case, some tools, and a couple different uh, leg ends. This has a rubber and then metal spikes. And I, I go with the metal spikes because I'm usually out in the woods. And it also has a strap for the carrying the tripod if you want to hook a strap to it. But, you know, that, that's pretty nice. It's not something that I carry around or really use, but, you know, someone might find some value in that. I've used this tripod with my medium format cameras, and I've also used it with my digital SLRs. I don't plan on using it for long lenses. I think the legs are rated at about 26 pounds, and the the pan tilt head that I, I picked is only um, rated for like 18 pounds. Works well for my landscape stuff, but um, I don't think this would be a great setup for wildlife or anything like that. But for landscape, um, this seems to be working pretty good. So after a few months living with the uh, tripod, I think I can talk about the good and the bad. 
of the Benro Adventure Series 2 tripod. So let's start with the good. It's fairly light. The, the tripod weighs just a little over five pounds. Coming from my old Bogan tripod, it's, it's, I feel like I'm using a backpacking tripod. It's <laughs> but it does feel pretty solid still, even though it's uh, uh, um, fairly, fairly lightweight. I mean, I wouldn't call that super light. The legs are a little over three pounds. Um, it's still very manageable on long hikes. I like that it's a three section um, tripod. The flip, quick flip locks uh, snap into place real well, holds really well. It seems to be built pretty good. Construction, I would give it a, a high marks on its construction. Magnesium, aluminum, and, and some plastic. But this is a pretty affordable tripod, so you gotta, you gotta, you know, you've gotta expect that there's gonna be some corners cut somewhere. The height is good. I rarely use the center column on it. I like that the pan tailed head is Arca Swiss compatible. It's a big deal to me to have the versatility. I really didn't want getting into something that was proprietary. So that was that's something that's really nice. This is this is a really good value. This tripod it, it's uh, very affordable. The head and the legs combined were just a little over two hundred dollars. I, I find that very reasonable. Now if I would have went with the carbon fiber version it would have been a little more expensive. That's kind of why I had to go with the aluminum because at the time I didn't have the budget for the carbon fiber. Now let's talk about the bad, <laughs> the cons. Let's talk about what I don't like on this tripod. Now most of the things that I don't like about this tripod really stem around the head. It, it, it's pretty solid. I mean, it's very solid. I mean, uh, you know, the construction of it, I have no, no issues with. The, the engineering, I think, has a little bit of to be desired. I find that this handle and this knob don't work well together. I'm constantly pinching my fingers between this handle and this knob when I'm out working. <laughs> Out taking photos and it's something I just have to get used to probably but I find it very annoying and I find it's a poor design it just I'm constantly getting my my fingers caught in there when I'm uh, trying to level my horizon I also find that it's it's tough you have to really crank down pretty hard to get it to uh, lock into place solidly I wish, I wish it was a little easier to get a good lock. Now, it could be that I just didn't order a heavy enough head for my, my setup, but this is rated for 18 pounds, and I do find it, I'm really having to, to really turn it pretty hard to get it to, to lock into place. My next dislike of this tripod is the levels, the, the bubble level. They're worthless. They, they're, the problem is, they use such a small bubble in the level that, it, for one, it's very hard to see in low light, uh, any light, actually. And it's very slow to respond, so it takes forever to get it centered. And I, th I think that's because it's just such a small bubble. Uh, if it's cold out, it, it seems to take forever to, it, you, you think it's, into place and it still slowly moves. It really is very not very responsive. These, these might seem like trivial um, issues and it's probably not enough for me to get rid of the head. We'll see. I, I'm, I'm still trying to see if uh, it's, it's gonna work for me. I may just have to get something different. Maybe I'll go with a, a ball head. I, I really like the pan tilt heads usually. But this one is, I'm just not uh, getting along with it all that well. I like how it fastens down the plates. I like that two-stage uh, screw there. I mean, that, I think that's, that's really good. But there are just too many things that really annoy me about the head on this. But for the money, it's, you know, it's still a good tripod. I just may have to, I, I really think the legs are excellent. 
I think the, the uh, craftsmanship, the build of the tripod is, is good. I just don't know about the head. Can I recommend the Binro Adventure Series 2? Yeah, I can. I uh, just You just got to know going in that the head may not be the head you're looking for. It might be that you want to go with a ball head or a, maybe a different pan tilt head. Their ball heads look pretty solid. And it, I think it's built well. It just I'm not sure about the design. So I'm going to end today's video right here. Thanks for joining me on the balcony. And until next time, thanks for coming along for the ride.